Do you know, Government of India has launched Digital India RISC 5 microprocessor program and sets timeline to roll out first indigenous microprocessor by December 2023. Want to know in detail? Stay tuned till the end of the video. Before going into the detail of the topic, we want to discuss what is RISC-5. RISC-5 is pronounced as RISC-5. RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer where 5 refers to the number of generations of RISC architecture that were developed at the University of California Berkeley since 1981. It's an open standard instruction set architecture that is ISA based on established RISC principles. Unlike most other IISA designs, RISC-5 is provided under open source license that do not require fees to use. A number of companies are offering or have announced RISC-V hardware. Open source operating systems with RISC-V support are available and the instruction set is supported in several popular software toolchains. Government of India has announced a plan and roadmap for local semiconductor design and production based on the open source RISC-V architecture and set a goal of delivering world-class silicon by the end of next year. The Digital India RISC-V microprocessor program that is DIR5 will see Indian industry and academia team to develop systems on chip for servers, mobile devices, automotive applications, IoT devices and microcontrollers. Union Minister of State for Electronics and Information Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar was present on 27th April 2022 during the launch of DIR5 program. Sri Chandrasekhar, a former Intel chief designer who now serves as India's Minister of State for Entrepreneurship, Skill Development, Electronics and Technology, said D5 aims to achieve industry-grade silicon and design wins by December 2022. This initiative is in line with the government's ambition towards Atmanirbhar Bharat. The Indian Institute of Technology that is IIT Madras and Center for Development of Advanced Computing SIDAC have developed two microprocessors named Shakti and Vega using open source architecture. The government has appointed IIT Madras Director Professor V. Kamakoti as the Chief Architect and SIDAC Thiruvananthapuram Scientist Krishna Kumar Rao as the Program Manager of the DIR5 program. Shri Chandrasekhar said the program will draw on expertise expressed in India's current homegrown RISC-V processor designs Shakti and Vega. But those processors are far from the leading edge. A recent Shakti release was built on a 180 nanometer, uses 32-bit cores and runs at between 75 megahertz and 100 megahertz. That a spec that would not have scared Intel when it launched the Pentium processor 29 years back. Another Shakti design was made on a 22 nanometer process by Intel but that model debuted in 2018. Shakti designs for servers and HPC applications are on the drawing board. The Vega design looks a little more advanced and its makers claim it's already employed in several SOC designs. Government of India has styled those efforts as early steps in processor design. It's a fair assessment given neither appears imminently ready for production or sufficiently mature to deliver usable products of the quality Chandrasekhar expects in the time allowed. The government's announcement that India has joined RISC-V International, the non-profit that oversees RISC-V as a premier board member, is a sign of its commitment to the ecosystem. Remembering his early days as an x86 processor chief designer at Intel, Sri Chandrasekhar mentioned that many new processor architectures have gone through an initial period of ferment characterized by waves of innovations. At some point, however, they all settled on a dominant design. ARM and x86 are two such instruction set architectures, one of which is licensed and the other is sold, where industry consolidated in earlier decades. However, RISC-V has emerged as a strong alternative to them in the last decade, having no licensing encumbrances, enabling its adoption by one and all in the semiconductor industries at different complexity levels for various design purposes, he said. The Union Minister further added challenging the status quo, RISC-V instruction set architecture witnessing a quantum leap and unprecedented levels of processor innovation owing to its free and open nature. Today, there is a thriving ecosystem of chip designers in academia, scientific societies and startups in the country, content to gain the market share in RISC-V growing market. He added, we want at least a few companies to adapt their product designs to D5 products Shakti and Vega before 2023-2024 and when the silicon is ready, they start manufacturing and incorporating chips in 
making the products we also believe over the next one and a half years the partnership between the shakti and vega teams and the overall dirv program with platform companies like hp vvd and apple and a large number of companies in the electronic ecosystem will help create design wins around d5 family of products shakti and vega the d5 program will consolidate and leverage the ongoing efforts in the country with an integrated multi institutional and multi location team finalize the formal architecture and target performance of chipsets support original equipment makers and design win in india and abroad the d5 initiative is part of the government's 76000 crore rupees effort to build a semiconductor ecosystem in the country india will use semiconductor worth dollar 70 to 80 billion to manufacture electronics products worth dollar 300 billion by 2026 according to the government's vision document the center is aiming to make the country self reliant in the semiconductor segment shortages of which has led to an increase in input cost of products and services in turn leading to increasing inflation india also aims to build semiconductor fabs and has sought interest from global majors for setting up manufacturing plants in the country which will entail billions of dollars in investment the government earlier said it has received proposals from five firms to set up electronic chip and display manufacturing plants with an investment of 1.5 trillion rupees under the semicon india program which entailed incentives of two tune of 76000 crore rupees with so much happening in and around indian semiconductor industry we are really hopeful do you think similar don't forget to leave your comment that's all for today stay tuned stay focused namaste and jai hind